back to my channel miss anisha berry thank you for being the first one to comment a month ago <laughs> on my videos i took a vacation and trust me i didn't want to come back but yeah i did these nails on live on my facebook if you guys are interested you go follow my facebook group it's called the humble nail technicians I do some lives there every once in a while, but in these sets, I use the Model 1's Poly Gel Pro Kit. I will link all of the information on the bottom of my bio. So make sure you guys click on that if you're interested. Everything I'm using today is from a Model 1's. So it comes with this pink lamp, a nail brush. I don't like this brush. Let me just tell you first before I would do anything. I don't like this brush. It's too hard for the poly gel. It doesn't move. It's just really stiff. But I do like this to play around with gel and actually to do gel nails. It's actually a really good brush for actual gel nails. But I don't think the poly gel, I think I just left too much dents in a poly gel. It comes with base coat, primer, and then top coat. I never used primer before, at least Model 1's primer before. So we're going to try that in this a video um yes on my live i did use dual forms to create this look if you guys want to check it comes with slip solution it actually comes with everything you need a even a lamp to create anything you want and these nail um gel bottles over here that's actually added to my own collection but actually comes in another package so it doesn't come with this actually yeah it does it does come with this kit i forgot so it comes with the lamp and then in the bottom it comes with the gel polishes so there's a lot of good stuff that comes with this this lamp is 36 24 to 36 watts so i'm thinking the 90 90 option is a 24 set for low heat mode and then the rest of the lamp is 36 but i will just let you know that it took me at least four minutes just to cure uh, the poly gel. I had to bring out my ducky lamp for it to fully cure. So that's the only thing with this lamp. Uh, every time I would make the poly gel, you know, too thick, it would cure like really, really slow. So this lamp needs more power, but it is a good lamp. So if you actually freeze the poly gel between every nail, uh, you would actually be able to use the lamp. But like every nail, if you would do it one by one, it's going to at least take like four minutes. And that's a lot of time. But if you do it one by one, you know, one cure one hand, move on to the next, cure that one, move on to the next, then you won't actually notice how long it takes for the lamp to cure. It's not a bad lamp, but I'm so used to powerful lamps. This brush, as you can see, just makes too much indentions. You see that? I just feel like this brush is not good for this uh, kit, but it works. It works. I didn't have a problem with the poly gel. I felt like the poly gel was very, very nice to work with, very soft. I actually love this poly gel and it's actually not one of my favorites but it's starting to be because it actually resembles you know more like an actual hard gel so it was easy for me to pull down and uh, you know work with so i really love this i love this color this one is clear apricot this one is really really pretty and it self levels so that's really good i didn't have to file that much that's really good because I hate filing poly gel because you get like those scratches and those indentions in the poly gel. But this one was okay. This one we filed just to make it crisp. And then I took the buffer that came in this kit and I buffed the top of it because you can see the little indentions in the poly gel made from my brush. Yeah. So that's one thing I did not like about the brush and I did try this brush with like my other poly gels and it did the same thing so I don't really like this brush maybe you guys could add another brush to this kit 
if you're listening. Okay, so I'm taking the clear poly gel from this kit. And this clear is super, super clear. Like, it is really clear, you guys. I'm very impressed. Um, all you want to do is make sure you go flatten everything out. I just saturate the brush just to make it easier for me. And even when I saturated with the alcohol, it didn't create any bubbles. It didn't create any, like, white spots. So that's a good thing with this poly gel so make sure before you cure it make sure you let it sit for a while uh, so it could come like completely flat and it could like level out so you don't have to file i didn't file this these wings because it just leveled out so so good so make sure that you give it some time just to like settle out a little bit and remove all like the bumps and before you put it under the lamp and after you are done shaping this and you're satisfied, then leave this sucker under the lamp for about four minutes because anything less is just not going to work. Um, unless you have another lamp. You don't want to wait that long. Use another lamp. So I'm taking my alcohol again, spraying it down and making sure that all that stickiness is off of there before I even do anything because you're not supposed to touch that innovation layer with your fingers so you could get a reaction to that stuff so i always use my alcohol so we're coming with actually we're coming with a uh, two brands of alcohol inks one the pink one is from barano because i didn't have another pink one other than the macart and then the blue one is from model ones so they all work together they're all beautiful and i just felt like man i wanted this butterfly to look like kind of a stained glass butterfly so this is what i'm doing being stuck at home going crazy you guys really need to go on my facebook group because we do a lot there and that's one of the reasons why i haven't been on youtube because i've been more on my facebook if that makes any sense but pretty much just go ahead and add your colors and I did use the blooming gel from the model once kit so I could bloom out those colors and that's what I'm doing right now but any uh, alcohol inks will work then we're coming with the black gel polish from model ones also everything I use to paint is from model ones um i know i told you in the last video that i wasn't really going to use model ones gel polishes anymore because i wanted to use something else but you guys i keep going back to model ones and i don't know <laughs> maybe because it's just really good it's really good for painting it's thin you know it's easy to cure it doesn't bubble up it doesn't peel off it doesn't like leave any bumps after because you know how sometimes you paint and then it gets like really thick after a while because of so many layers well this one doesn't and i've tried a lot of gel polishes and i always go back to model one so <laughs> forgive me if i keep using model ones but i just i use what works for me i'm not a brand brat i use it if it works for me then i'm going to use so all i'm doing is painting the wing with model ones So I wanted to make a rose, but I wanted to make it look different because I am doing a masterpiece, pretty much. The first one I'm going to do is the butterfly, and then I'm going to come back and do something else 3D. I just kind of want to put everything together to see what I come with. But the goal is to actually create um, a pond, and so I am painting this flower. 
to be this way for the theme. I know it doesn't look like a flower, but that's the point. Because when it all comes together, it is going to be so pretty. So this will be like the first video, me doing the butterfly. And then my next video, well not my next video, but my next time I do the 3D. I'm just going to put all of it together. Because I kind of want this to put on my wall for like my clients to see all the work that you can do with just nail stuff all this is done by poly gel it's so easy to do and you know what it saves on monomer you don't have to worry about doing 3ds on monomer anymore so if you teach yourself actually train yourself to work with poly gel it works the same just like monomer it's a little hard to work with with a lot of the poly gels out there but this one was easy to work with and I'm really happy how it came out. So this pink is not from Model 1's. Actually, it is from Model 1's, but it's not from this kit. Um, it's from my other kit that I use. But like I said, it has been the one I've been using so far. And I have no regrets. I actually woke up and did this while everybody was sleeping because I couldn't sleep. I had so much on my head. I was thinking about a lot of things that I shouldn't be thinking of, you know. It's just been real. It just, it really has. I went on vacation and I came back to be on lockdown pretty much. So, um, it's just really hard. And whatever is going on in this world, just know that you have faith and keep on going. And keep in prayer. That's what I've been doing every day. I wake up and pray. I pray for the world. I pray for myself. I pray for every situation out there. So I didn't want to come back yet. I was just like, man, it's been so long since I've been on YouTube. Because I've been just on my Facebook page. So I focus more on my Facebook page. Because in that group, I talk to every single one of you guys. And I get close to you guys. I just love... I love the group. It's just so nice. Everybody's posting their beautiful work. So many talented nail artists in there. Oh my goodness. So many. We can't keep up with them. We just can't. I do have moderators that help me. And if it wasn't for them, I think I'd be going crazy with the group on top of that. Because sometimes I wake up and I have to delete a lot of things. Because people don't follow the rules. And it's just always something. But... For the most part, I am grateful that I have you guys in this group to be my friend and to help me get through all the things that I've been going through in my entire life. So I love you guys and I just want to say thank you for being there and being part of my world and still being there for me and still watching my videos because I know, you know, people have things to do and nobody really wants to sit here and watch videos. <laughs> So I do appreciate the ones who actually are watching, still watching me today in 2020. And if you are, go on my group and say hi to me and let me know that you are. Because I do a lot of giveaways. I love doing giveaways and just giving away stuff that I review because it just sits there. So in this flower, like I said, I kind of wanted to make a theme so all the f nails that I would do, it's going to have all these like unique different flowers. I just wanted to be different. Put everything together to see the whole world and what it will be. It will be a 3D butterfly and then we'll do something else and just put it all together. So yeah, this rose is different. If you don't like it, it's okay. Make it your own way. But this is just me. I do my own thing. I don't think my way is the right way. It's just my way and it works for me and it's fast so so I mix the black gel polish with the clear poly gel and we are going to make the body of the butterfly this was so easy to mix I was impressed because sometimes black black it doesn't like me <laughs> Oh, it does it. Every time I mix anything with black, it smears and it just, it doesn't cure all the way. So with this black one, I did not use the, the 
the lamp that came in this kit, I use my ducky lamp. If you don't know about my ducky lamp, you need to get it. It is the best, and I love it. So I made it thick enough to so it could be like a 2D, you know, look 2D. So I have time, and, you know, it doesn't, like, not cure all the way in the lamp. But it actually did a good job on the lamp, and I'm just really excited so I'm taking my white and I'm just making dots for the butterfly making sure that I get every single dot in there I didn't mix this with anything it's just a white from the kit that it comes with it comes with like a white gray so this is the color that I'm using for the butterfly and then we're coming with the clear again after the black you want to cure the body first because you don't want to like put poly gel on top of poly gel because it's just smear and then hold it up with one finger and then take your lamp again i did use the pink lamp to cure this because it didn't have a bottom so it was easier for me just to cure that and then i'm making the little antennas and i was gonna make little feet but you can't see it with the rows it'll all come together in the end so pretty much i am just making my little details with my brush and the brush i got from born pretty you guys it's my favorite brush it's the 11 millimeter one it is my favorite one and that's pretty much all you do that's it you put top coat in the front of the butterfly and in the back so it will be like a clear looking glass butterfly i love poly gel i love to create with poly gel it's just so fun and you could do so many things yeah i'm very aware that not everybody's gonna wear this but it's just for fun so i mean if you want to wear it go ahead but it's just for fun so let me know if you like this thumbs up if you do if you don't thanks for watching anyway i love you guys and don't forget you guys to add yourself to my group just add yourself to my group i'm always there talking to you guys i'm just always there i hope you like this 3d butterfly and i thank every single one of you for spending your time and your busy day watching my videos i love you guys and i will see you on the next one Thanks for watching.